Hello everybody, welcome to week 11 of Error BB. This is the most exciting game left. We have Chavita and his Kemri versus Drac Black Claw and his lizard men. He's down TV, he's got a bribe. No, he's got the bribe from the stadium. So he's only got Silly Billy as his inducements. Uh, this is a very exciting match because Chavite is on 13 points. His destiny is in his own hands. A win will put him on 16 above a multitude of people on 15 points and thus secure his position. A draw will potentially make it interesting with PK83. But he's winning in for sure. For sure he's winning in. I don't know who, who holds the tiebreaker between him and PK83. Um, but a riot. It's funny that Drac has the uh, inducement here because obviously Javita's team is very TV efficient. Pretty terrifying team. Lock Tomb Guardians, Pommers, Mighty Blow, Guard. It's a really, really terrifying team that just hasn't broken anybody's armor. <laughs> <laughs> at all so uh, there is that oh wow so Chavite beat PK83 on the first day of the season. So, a draw is enough for Chavite. A draw will, will hand him... Uh, will hand him... Well, no, could be enough. A draw could be enough for Chavite if PK83 loses. And PK83 is playing Elliot. So, potentially, a draw is enough. There's a, there's a chance a draw is enough for him. But... A win is definitely enough for him because there's loads of people on 15. So he's just got to try a win, hasn't he? That's as simple as it gets. Hello, Ubix Breaker. And you know, it's against Drac. No, no offense to him. His team is not the best. He's got Silly Billy versus one of the lower TV teams. He's got Lizards. You know, Lizards are still a team, aren't they? But he hasn't had the greatest season ever. So, Chavite probably very confident of getting this victory. It's interesting, isn't it? Like, if it was a real team, you'd be tempted to go down the side here, but you can really, so you just can't. <laughs> you just have to pom things. here but he's already used his uh, DP. It was a bit rubbish as well ha having this guy. It was a bit rubbish because obviously if you just get the push you're giving away a hit on him. Bet he wanted to foul that Saurus but obviously can't. Toomey in here. I don't like this, honestly. Like, leaving two Toomeys behind like this. Like, he's leaving two and a half Toomeys behind, really. The Pommers left behind. These two are left behind. And he's like the hinge holding it together. Oh, God, I just don't want to. Now he's been grabbed further away, so there's quite a quite a little team split here. Oh, he's stand firm though. So while it's good to be outnumbering like what seven to two, oh he, okay, he's just giving up. He's fouling. <laughs> he's got the bribe. He's got the bribe. He hasn't given up, but he is fouling with his ball carry. <laughs> 
<laughs> he is fouling with his super skink. <laughs> Which, you know, Dave all loves to do that. I don't, because, uh, you know, you're still about 1 in 18 to get sent off. And I don't want to get my best players sent off. But, you know, some people look at it as you're only 1 in 18 to get sent off. I still think you probably shouldn't be fouling with your best player. Yeah, now we've got good progression down the flank, but these three, I guess the, I guess that on the one hand you've left those three behind, but on the other hand they're really strong and it, even for Lizards it takes quite a lot to hit them. Big pow. Doesn't follow though. What a big giant nerd. I definitely want to follow there and pile on him if it's uh, not a if it's a natural armor break. I would have piled on for sure. I think it was worth uh, following. Does this dodge before the move? He had a, he had a play that he didn't move, didn't he? He had this guy. I wonder if this guy should have like got out in front of something. The skink swarm is possible, isn't it? I know there's a tackler. The tackler is in a good spot, but maybe this guy one, two, three, four, five. You know, just get another player up there. I guess he's protecting the mummy a bit now, isn't he? But I would have wanted to see him here or here or something. In fact, he could have even gone out in front, couldn't he? One, two, three, four, five. He could have been out in front. Standing exactly where <laughs> Silly Billy has put himself. That's an amazing square for Silly Billy, isn't it? Full it me. Well, there's the one nine. Oh no, it was a double one, it was his super skink. Oh my god. Well, this is very tricky now for Trevita. Leaves something possible with his pommel. Nope. This is really hard. Do you like 1D the other guy and then try a 2D silly billy? Just goes for the 1D with wrestle. So the sand firm's the killer though, right? Like, I think. The problem is if you put somebody there, you've got nobody to protect it anyway. Oh god, well if you're gonna 1D. Oh. oh no, it was with him, okay, I was gonna say, fuck me. So now you've got to dodge, but now you can't dodge. I think putting in him and then 1Ding and then getting the 2D against Silly Billy. I can't think you need the 2D versus Silly Billy. Right? But then, obviously, if you do that, then you're not going around the back anyway. So yeah, it has to dodge off. Like, just has to. This is the problem with this is the problem with uh, Tomb Guardians. You know, like people love to say picking up the ball in the rain. The problem is making a dodge ever. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard to ever succeed. Like when your whole team can't make any dodges. They're about the only team as well where the whole team can't dodge. Like, oh wow. Like, obviously, undead have ghouls, don't they? Dwarves have runners. And, uh. Yeah, Kemri are the only team that can't dodge at all. Might be wrong on that. But, thinking now in my head, I can't think of another team that just literally can't dodge. This guy, okay. Whew. This is just not a blitz. This is not a dodge even. This guy had to be there and there, or this guy had to be one up. This guy one up works, but there's just literally not a screen here. This was a very much a mistake by Drac. Uh, he's got two skinks. Oh, you mean for the for something else, Benbo? Um, I don't know. 
soldier. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, it's third reroll on that one. Or you could have a third reroll and one skink on the bench. Why do I have to choose out of two incorrect options? Ah, <laughs> oh, is that does that not fit? Oh, diced. Yeah, third reroll on apple. Is this for the uh is this for the play ins? Could be. Already people taking lizard men. Oh, disgusterous. People, people really don't want me to play dwarves again. <laughs> They've put Underworld down a tier though. <laughs> Underworld are down a tier. What the hell? Dells have the problem with all the time and their teams being dead. <laughs> yes, Kayla. <laughs> I'm hoping that's a joke. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. People have some wild fucking opinions, you know. I want to laugh. But, um... But, you know, some people have some really bad opinions. So... You know. Well, this was crazy, wasn't it? That just... I think that wrestle guy, you know, he really had to bring up the front. I really need him in front. And he did the dodge. I wouldn't I don't I wonder if he's gonna foul with his dirty player or something and but weird that he did that dodge with the blitz route before he moved the guy up. I thought he needed to move up and protect the ball. And then since then these guys who were left behind, you know, it, it did screw him a bit because he didn't have the strength to hit the hit the uh hit the lizard men couldn't beat them off effectively so yeah I don't know why you can't have Yeah, no, I think. Do you know? Does it not fit? I'm sure people, people had like a, people had a. Uh, in the first one was one eleven hundred, and some people had fucking uh, camo skins. I don't know. Oh, the rerolls are 70, aren't they? The rerolls are 70 now, aren't they? That's right, isn't it? Right. I'm like, why can't you swap two skinks? Why can't you swap a skink for a reroll? I was going fucking ins. I was like, am I insane? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Ah, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> easy to see. Yeah. Yeah, it is easier on the eyes, isn't it? Like it's it is it is not pretty it's not a pretty game, Blood Bowl 2. It's not a pretty game. But it's easy to look at and see what's happening. 
so much easier to look at and see what's happening. It's so much easier on the eyes than Blood Bowl 3, even if it's not technically as pretty. So this is real tough for Chavita now, right? That 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 ill-fated push, leaving back three of his four Tomb Guardians, left, just left him no muscle to uh, deal with the lizard counter manoeuvre. And now the best Chavita can hope for is getting a draw and hoping that PK83 loses to Eliod. In a match, to be fair, that doesn't matter to Eliod. Eliod is guaranteed um, first or second. And first or second doesn't really matter. You know, like, yes, there's there's seeding, but at the end of the day, the seeding between one and two, you know, it's, it's not going to matter too much. Like, Blood Bowl's so random. Getting getting the getting the buy is huge because Blood Bowl's random. The seeding doesn't really matter so much because Blood Bowl's random. <laughs> so it's, you know both things are true basically. Really good to have the buy, but seeding I've never thought was a big deal in in, in anything to do with Blood Bowl. It's a big that's a big failure, isn't it? That oh my god. Oh my god, what a turn. What a turn for drag. Oh my god. I, I I actually hated activating him, right? Because you've got 2D here. Like, you activating him and risking losing, like, going bonehead is terrible, right? So, like, you've just got a non-loaner 2D here and a non-loaner 2D here. And then, after you've made those two blocks, then you can activate him for a 3D on the wrestler, which you don't want to bolt down against. But by activating him first, you lose guard, so you can't make either of these two hits. So yeah, he, ha he had to activate him last. He just he just had to. Bad ordering. And also, he should have fucking picked up the ball, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, but also, like, yeah, you, you've got to make the outside blocks first there. 100 100%. 100%. Mm. Yeah, not even a joke. No, I know. No. Multiple times in the past hour. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, some safe moves first, but not enough. Yep, and here we go. Javita has the ball, but he has to try and. Well. Can he try? They went back and forth. Oh my god. Is it going to be Rebel Overtime? Oh man. I heard that it was changed. Have they changed it back? Flip me. Could he have hit the ball there? I'm not sure. It doesn't really matter now. He's got the hit. Recover your crocs. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> We're not submitting rosters publicly, are we not? Oh, I boneheaded again! <laughs> he won D powered! <laughs> this is a super easy clear. He should have gone here, right? It means you're more likely to get surfed. But you can protect him with him. But now he just wrestles him and clears with, with the powers. It's a glorious power. So it's super easy for uh, Javita to react here. He starts with said wrestle block and gets him push. And he can even surf him if he wants. I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it is. Oh, baby. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. Blitz this guy. Chain in there. Surf the Saurus. Four. I don't know what you're doing. Wait, are you are you in it, Jay Leave? Are you are you in the uh, planes or not? No. But you've just this is just what you've gathered from other people and stuff. Okay, cool. It's pretty fucking <sighs> bamboozling. Bamboozling is probably the best thing to say. <laughs> Oh, so he didn't do it. I think I think that was such a good play. I would I think I would have done that. I'm always up for sur for surfing Saurus, honestly. Like I really like that play. And the problem that that Chivite has is going for the the win here is so hard, isn't it? It's so hard. So and then you know PK83 versus Elliot. There is a good chance, even though the game doesn't mean anything to Elliot, there's a good chance that PK83 loses. So... Well, it's not, though. There's a good chance he gets the draw, actually. I think I'd favour the draw the most. Like, Necro are a hard team. I wouldn't... You know, it's, it's easy for, for... Well, not easy, but it's very possible that PK could get the draw against Elliot. In which case, you just need to go for the win. So it's interesting. Obviously, he had to make that decision himself whether he could try and push for the win or not. But it's it's so hard to try to push for the win with Kemri, isn't it, of all teams? <laughs> yeah, it was baffling. Like it's mostly just baffling. Like. A, I think I think that's the thing is you know that the people running it just don't have a clue about Blood Bowl and then maybe they've asked some people about Blood Bowl you know maybe the league admins right who are in Rebel who like the Rebel playoffs you know the Rebel overtime even though it's like shit so it is what it is Asking the right people is really hard, isn't it? How how is any how is anybody who doesn't know about anything know who to ask? You know, like at least at least when you go to the doctors, you know that all of the doctors are qualified. <laughs> but with Blood Bowl, they're just asking people and you know, it could be anybody, right? The the people who talk about Blood Bowl don't know fuck all about Blood Bowl most of the time. So... This is a bit tricky. You could 1D him over a power and then... Not. I'll maybe just try and recover the team into like some kind of defensive formation. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. That's exactly it, Steve. You just don't know. Like, there's no way of knowing for Cyanide or Nakon or whoever's running this event. They don't know who's the receptionist and who's the GP. <laughs> they just don't know. And there's no way for them to know because, you know, there's nobody, there's nobody, there's just no way of knowing, right? If somebody... If the receptionist is telling you something that sounds believable, you'll be like, yeah. Yeah. So, like, it's, it is hard for them. I've always said that. I, I appreciate that it's hard for them. Like, you know, like Plasmoid, right? If, if you didn't know anything and you, you looked at Plasmoid's contribution to the internet, you'd think, what, this guy knows his stuff. Look at all this. He's made a he's made a Bretonian team. He's made all these guides. He's oh, he, oh, he knows his stuff. Poor, oh, he's pretty rowdy. He knows everything. This lad. <laughs> but it turns out, yeah, not only is Plasmoid not a GP, <laughs> he, he, he's an 
an escaped mental patient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Elliot. Yeah, that wasn't personal. That wasn't personal. That was just a. It's just a vice I like to do. <laughs> Wasn't particularly you. <laughs> well, this is nice, isn't it? Getting the crocs on the ball. A non stand firm guy and gets the stun. It's a bit rowdy. <laughs> Sorry, Connor. <laughs> oh, wow, in comes the reroll. And it's a big, it's a big knockdown. Ooh, I'm not sure about that. I don't. I don't like that one so much. It protects. It protects the. Uh, protects him, doesn't it? It does protect him. I'm not sure that it wasn't better to like maybe, you know, keep him even GFI under here, right? Even maybe. He's, no, no, he's just tagging. Him. Maybe it's okay. I don't know. I feel like I've wanted something a bit back. But, like this is this is a pickle. This is still a pickle. Don't get me wrong. Like it is good having him there. It does protect the. I think the stun's massive, right? Without the stun, this is, uh, you know, very doable. But yeah, it gives him the chain out. Look, it gives him the chain out. It fucking gives him the chain out. So yeah, maybe his nut don't stand there is definitely. I mean, good spot from Javita. Good spot and play from Javita to, to get him free with the chain. He's running out of time to score, which is a bit of a ball ache, but, you know escapes there. Maybe he could have come round the back. Maybe he could have come round the back there. I don't hate that. <laughs> I don't hate the 5-2-2 to 2, 2 do the ball either. I tell you. Oh, he could have chained and got the crocs on the ball again. But I mean he would have failed anyway, right? So. Oh. Pushes him out. Stand up this guy now. <laughs> By the way, if you're not double if you're not dodging double GFI and it hit the ball, stand this guy up. A long time ago. <laughs> this guy could base the ball, right? But the problem is he'll, he'll just get tackle pommed, so it's no real point. You just want to withdraw the skink so he's not getting tackle pommed. Doesn't get his armor broken. Whoa. No, no, Doctor the Dog. Elliot was the guy who was. <laughs> Elliot was the guy thinking that that plasmoid knew things. <laughs> of course, we know. We'd all, we'd all agree that. Uh, the the problem is though, Steve, he'd just tackle pom him, right? He'd tackle pom him instantly. That was the problem, so I like I like just getting uh I like just withdrawing him. And then at the right time, diving tackle on him, yeah, but you need you need the you need his tacklers taken care of and he's got three of them. And two of them are tackle pom, so like it's really hard. You've got to mark out his tacklers on the same turn as you get the diving tackle on the ball. Oh my god, and he's getting his wonder skin kit. I love the reroll there from Chavita. Love the reroll there. So now, yes, trying to base the ball would have been better because you'd rather that guy got killed than your super skip. <laughs> Only a badly hurt though. Right? Yeah, only badly hurt. Yeah, get get him. I would have gone back, right? I'd have gone even further back. Get him back to here. Because he just like he's not that fast and he can't protect the ball so easily, so just get him as deep as possible. Gets a power, cheeky power. It is, it is faulty, a tragedy. Not sure about the blitz here. Not a great place to use your blitz. And certainly not good to fall over afterwards. 
I think like maybe like uphill this guy for a push and then run him around maybe or or something else like maybe the crocs could have blitzed crocs could have blitzed this guy and I know he went stupid anyway but maybe the crocs could have blitzed this guy and try and get out or something yeah trip ones would have failed yeah but the point is slim <laughs> point is from a, the point of this commentary is to not say, oh, he rolled some ones, he failed. The point is to like think, well, what you know, what was the best player? Like, what players could he have made? And you know, interesting things like that, discussing things, isn't it? Not just uh, he made a block, it was a both down. He got a pow. <laughs> you know, that's it's just not really very good, is it? Oh my god. <laughs> he chose the skull. <laughs> Wait, he chose the skull. Wait, did he one in nine? Which way did it go? Yeah, whatever he did was a turnover, yeah, but he still he didn't he could have not GFI'd for a start. And he could have uh, he could have done a different play. It would have also failed. Of course it would have done, but I still think that was the wrong play, even though whatever he did would have failed. I think he rolled I think he chose the skull on the thing and he's got both down. Like he's he's got he's got block, hasn't he? Oh he hasn't got block. Oh my god, I'm being an idiot. He hasn't got block, so he chose the skull. Jesus Christ, I'm stupid. Right, so double dodge from this guy. Hope you're all good. You've got a chance to roll a six. And then a chance to roll. Oh no, wait, he can, he can hit. One, two, three, four, five. He, he can just hit. He can hit with block. Four. Imagine if he hadn't wasted his reroll on that GFI last turn. On the blitz, even. I don't know. He, he, he rerolled. He rerolled. He wasted a reroll, didn't he? Last turn, I'm sure he did. Sure he did. Maybe he didn't. Oh well. There you go. So what happened on this turn was, Chivite thought for ages about whether it was better to blitz or dodge, or like blitz with somebody else. I think he had a break tackle there or something, or whatever he was. He was thinking for ages about what the best move was before he decided he was going to dodge, and then. He ran out of time. No, no, he clicked it. He clicked the... When he went to click the player, the time ran out and the game ended. So, no, not the time ran out. The, no, not the time ran out. I think just the game ended. I think just the game ended when he clicked on him. I don't know if the time ran out or whatever. And then, so either it, either it bugged out or the time ran out. Whatever it was. However it worked... When he clicked on that guy, it was the end of the game. So, unfortunately for Javita, he could have got a draw out of that game. You know, 50% of the time, he would have got the draw. But, um, you know, the, 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 Drac being an ultimate sportsman was totally fine with Javita rolling a 4-plus in the uh, Era BB channel. And then... Chivita being the ultimate sportsman said no it's my fault I'm not going to take that we'll just let the, let the result stand so there you go great sportsmanship from both congratulations to Drac there and uh, yeah you know great result for him and uh, you know Chivita is uh, misses out there because he stays on 13 so that that it is Chivita and uh And Tapioca King, who miss out on the playoffs. So there you go. Yep, yep, both of them great. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.